Hello and howdy. Welcome back to Angular and Kendo UI Unite. I'm Alyssa Nichol, the Angular developer advocate for Kendo UI at Progress. And in this video, we're actually going to add a time picker to our to-do list so that you can not only add in to-dos, but you can assign a time for that to get done by. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and open up our terminal and install, whoops, and install all of the Angular Kendo date inputs. So this will go ahead and give us access to all of the date inputs that we would ever want to use from Kendo UI. However, today we are only going to use the time picker. So we are actually done now with the terminal window and can close that. And so inside of our button, we want to go ahead and next to the um, item, the title of the to-do item, we want to add in a Kendo time picker. And we want to bind the value of do, do, do our to-dos. And we actually need to go and make this one, but we want it to be the due, the time that it is due. So now if we go into our component, um, we see that our to-dos do not have due yet. <laughs> have no fear. Uh, we will go in, select all of these, and replace them with that. And so each of the items now has a due, which is set to a new date. And if we go ahead and save, um, and save this and actually head over to the CSS, and this is where the justified content space between comes in handy. Um, and now we see our items over here on the left hand side and then the time picker over here on the right hand side. So I've actually created some custom styles uh, to make our time picker look a little bit better on our to do items since we have such a custom look and feel here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and you'll see these time picker customizing styles and it's mainly me getting rid of the background and so if we go back over and refresh you'll see that it just kind of blends in a little bit better with each one um yay <laughs> so uh one of the next steps we need to do so we have our time picker showing it was super simple super easy and now it's bound to a do property but the next step is actually going to be adding an item in. So when we add a new item, it's not going to have a due time initially. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So the first thing we're going to do is go back over to our component and at the top of it, top of the class here, we're going to create an init, <clears throat> excuse me, an initial due time or init due time. And we're making that of type date and I'm setting it equal to a new date and time. And then we're going to go ahead and use this initial due time down here where we're creating or adding a new to do to the list. So next to our item input value, we wanna go ahead and create do, and we're going to set that equal to initial, this dot initial do time, or init do time. So now, when we go and create a brand new item, it should have initial do time, every time. Perfect, okay. So this was a super simple and easy way to add something like a due time um, to our to-do list, which I absolutely love this picker. I think it's super cute. And I also love that it's so customizable. As you saw with the lines of CSS that I wrote here, um, I literally was just modifying primarily, again, the background, the border, background image, and the color, just so that it matches what we have going on here in our UI. And I love that, uh, you know, no important tags were needed um, in the creation of this. So I hope you have fun using more date inputs, and I hope the time picker really comes in handy. So happy coding, everyone.